you are somewhat hypocritical. You know, it's a hypocritical nation. That's right. Watch this. It says, upon the wicked, it's the Psalms 11 and 6. You should write this down in your notes. Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. Fire, brimstone, tempest. A tempest, that's a storm, like a hurricane. So this is talking about an actual nuclear missile. So it said it's- You're assuming that. A what's a tempest? It's a storm. Uh, it's a, a fire storm. It said, uh, let me read it again. Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and in horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. Now, a long time ago, people used to think this scripture was talking about hell. And they were, oh, that's fire and brimstone. You're going to hell. But it, that's like, there's no hell in the Bible, okay? The place where it's all lava and Satan's down there laughing and shit. You know, you know, these scientists, they be pointing telescopes at the sun, right? And they can tell when there's a, some spots is hot as fuck, well, obviously it's the sun. But they can tell some of them has actual firestorms going around the sun. You know what I'm saying? Actual firestorm. It's hotter and different than all the rest of the fire. You know, you know fire, if you actually look at it, you can tell if some fire is hotter than other because of the color change. Blue is the coolest. Yep, right? yep, blue. yep. But right here, tempest means a violent storm. A violent storm. So this is talking about a fire storm. Let me read it one more time. Upon the wicked, he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, and in horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of your cup. Read the rest of that. A violent storm, two more. Read that again. The definition of tempest, a violent storm, two more, or up for. A two more, or up for. That's nuclear fire right there. And when that nuclear fire comes, it comes through like a storm. The clouds, are just like you got a, on a stormy day, you got clouds. So you're saying the people, people in Hiroshima, Hiroshima were wicked? Hell yeah, they was wicked. They, the they, got, they got what they deserved. <laughs> the children too. Hell yeah, the little bastard, the little Jack, the little babies, they got burnt for Chris. <laughs> the babies? They had it coming. Babies didn't do Man, nothing. Man, it's the same what Japanese. Mean, baby didn't do nothing. The babies didn't do nothing. Let me find something for you. It's the same Japanese that? people. That you know about the atrocities the Japanese committed in World War II? I mean, all countries did in World War II. America was, it, there, was no, there was no good side in World War II. Right. Because it was all orchestrated anyway by the bankers. But the elite of the world, they, they turned all nations against each other. They orchestrated that whole world. The, the fake Jews in Israel, they, 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 they was the one who orchestrated World War II. Because like before World War II, everybody hated Jews. But now after World War II, you gotta love them. If you don't love them, if you say anything bad about a so-called Jew, they call you an anti-Semite, your career get ruined. They, they was behind that World War II. It's just like when you cut down blacks, like Paul and Dean. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, let me read this for you. This is Joe okay. 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? What the fuck is you doing over there, man? <laughs> I got allergies, what man. What you doing, man? You never, never seen nasal spray? No, nah, don't put that shit up my nose. <laughs> <laughs> you want a Percocet? Uh, no, I don't want that. He probably didn't sniff perks up his nose. Hell no, I just smoke weed. Everybody knows that. Right, we know, we know. You advertise that. <laughs> 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 never seen Dana spray before, goddamn. Man, man. You're crazy, man. I'm living under a rock. Man, if you open the house of the Lord, man. You know, allergies start to act up this time of year? Yeah, when I start to cough, yeah. You get around the Bible, his allergies act up. <laughs> no, my whole life, I'm being great, man. You're allergic to the Bible. Huh? You're allergic to the Bible. Not really, but. What's up? What's up? Oh, that's scary. What are you guys uh, like advertising or whatever? Uh, we teach you the Bible. Oh, it's the Bible? We teach you the Bible? Yes, sir. You know destruction's coming? Yeah, I've heard. Um, I don't know, like... Yeah, I was just reading the scripture. Let me read it to you real quick. I just read it for him. I'm going to read it for you. Psalms 11 and 6. Upon the wicked he shall rain stairs, fire and brimstone, and in horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. So that's talking about the nuclear missile. You know, America is going to be destroyed by fire. Yeah. You know, the wickedness. Yeah. The countries are fighting over nuclear power. Yeah. World War III, it's a nuclear war. Yeah, because, yeah, right now, uh, America's about to go to war with Russia. That's scary shit. What you doing?
Mr. Mark? Mr. What's so scary about it? You don't, you don't even see it. Society and uproar, so you see a piece of pussy that you can just snatch up with, just snatch it up and what the, what the law gonna do? Oh yeah. When there's when the law itself gonna be running for its life. Yeah. You know, you ever seen like during um, Hurricane Katrina? You see cops is like, fuck that, I'm going home. Yeah. yeah you know like, what I mean? This shit, it ain't worth it. You know? That's yeah. why I can't wait, man, because it's a lot of fire pussy. I see most around one. <laughs> <laughs> and they ain't gonna yeah. be able to call nine one one either. That's right. Like, like right now, we live in a world. If say you get an altercation with, say, your wife is mouthing off to you, she being evil. You know how these women can get there, fucking hit you upside the head with a pan, and you just slap her. And she'll call. She'll call nine one one. You know what I'm saying? If it weren't for nine one one, the woman wouldn't have shit. This whole society would be different. It'd be totally different. It'd be totally different. <laughs> it's like, it's like we, we, we can police ourselves. Man. Yeah. We got sense. You don't need all these cops. Uh, circling the world child's collecting, making their bank fat, because that's what their badge is yeah. that they wear. Yeah. World child, which means red shield. So they actually work for the world child family, not the cities of America. You know, they serve a purpose. That's their own purpose. What do you ever see a cop actually prevent from? Never. All they do is give you know, traffic tickets to take your money. You ever see them actually prevent from? Have hey, you been out to the courthouse before? Oh, yeah. Right downtown. Yeah. You go outside the courthouse, you know what the first thing you see is? A big giant line of cash register. They in there taking everybody's money. Also, and foundations of the earth shall be shaken with trembling. That's when the Lord comes out of the sky and it's cherry. So, you guys believe in God? Yeah, yeah we believe in God. Yeah, you believe in God. Yeah, you're doing his work. Believe in God. That's why we're down here making fools. Yeah, if you believe, you guys do it. You're making a fool of ourselves. You're not making a fool of yourself. You're just doing what you believe in. You're looking like fools. I'm just saying. This is a foolish thing to be out here with signs. Why is that screaming at people? Well, you know, I got a script for that. But it's fun, though. You, gotta learn, you learn to love what we're doing. After you going to the devil. Why is that thing the devil? Yeah. That's not a true image. That's a deceived image. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what the devil means. Deceived. Y'all, everything is about that picture of God. You are in the worst Jesus. How's anyone know what it looks like? There's a scripture right there. This guy right here, that's a person that actually lived. The thing is, the Bible's interpreted. Say it again. The Bible's interpreted. Well, through the Spirit of the Lord, so wise men to interpret, to put in the people. John can't be interpreted. John can't be interpreted. Anybody can have any interpretation they want, but can they back it up in a debate? My thing is, it's like, but I always wonder, there's like, more, there's like more than one religion, so he's right, you know what I mean? Well, like, I'm Christian, I, I believe in the Bible. How do you find out about like, right? you, you, uh, you Everyone bad. thinks they're right, so like, you know what I mean? Like, why, 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 how you can tell the difference is uh, the type of wisdom how it's coming out. Right? You, man, we can do this all day, all night, yeah. like non-stop. Yeah. Like, we don't need to take a shit over this break. Maybe some water. Yeah. We can go all day, but we'll preach the pastors. They can't. They want their oil on drop, so. They, they can only go. Yeah, they can't debate for like an hour straight. They, uh, they don't really know anything. Another thing, you hear the truth, the truth is yeah. yeah. It hurts. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're the same truth hurts. Yeah. These pastors ain't saying nothing that's going to appear so hard. Like, damn. They mess up their money. Yeah, right. you're right, pastor. You're right, pastor. They just make them comfortable. That's right. That's yeah, right. They more money. Right. That's their job. And there's no money in making people uncomfortable. That's yeah. what the people want the pastor to do is actually lie to the people. But the only thing they got up there is women. Yeah. The women uh, are all based on emotion. Okay? Everything a woman does is based on emotion. So when he's passed a different way, he's going to want to upset his number one uh, money gift. Hey, check this out, bro. This is Isaiah 30 and uh, 10. Which say to the seers, see not. Oh, yeah, this is what these, the majority of these people out here tell us. Yeah. Which say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceit. People only want to hear smooth things. 
they lied to them. Even if they know it's a lie, but it made them feel good. That's, yeah. That's like, even if you got a wife, like you can't tell your wife that her hair looks all messed up. You get all emotional. You tell me it was beautiful. Yeah, oh, you look so beautiful. Yeah, look at her every day. Can't tell nobody the truth. <laughs> you know, let's see how our expression how it changes, you know. It's like we ain't care. Like, Very few. That's rare, man. You hear a woman that actually wanted to want to hear the truth. I mean, that's a that's a rare. That's a gem you find it. That's a serious gem you find it. You want another nuclear missile scripture? Hmm? It didn't say nuclear. Yeah, take off that. Okay, man. Okay. Not, uh, okay. Right. It didn't say nuclear there. But man, sure it's saying it's it's a, it's it a out, though. Tempest. But just, 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 just open your mind, man. Open your penile gland. You know, tap into my penile gland. Okay. That inner eye, that inner eye, bro. <laughs> you know. Here you go, Isaiah, twenty-four and eighteen. Listen carefully. And it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For the windows from on high are open. The windows from on high are open. The windows up in the sky. And the foundation of the earth do shake. The earth is utterly broken down. Now how do you shake the sky? Right. With missiles. When the missiles come through the sky, you ever hear a, a sonic boom? Sonic boom, that's some shit ain't it. What do you think it's gonna be like when all these missiles come through? It doesn't here? shake the sky. Be out, what what are you gonna like do when all these missiles start flying? When hundreds of a million missiles fly through the air all breaking the speed of sound. Mm. It's gonna sound the heavens are gonna shake. The, the, everything, the whole earth is gonna rock back and forth like a drunken man. The it's earth stumbling. Right. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The, <laughs> the earth is moved exceedingly, exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. Man, I'll tell you, I was just watching a documentary yesterday on the King James Bible. It was a new, uh, documentary. And they said the King James Bible was by far the greatest piece of literature ever written in the English language. Really? Says, just listen to these words. You don't tell me, I do not want to read the Bible. I have mental problems. Because it's too confusing. You gotta be retarded. It's too confusing when we can preach it. It's like reading Shakespeare. Actually, you know, Shakespeare helped translate the Bible. He's you know a black man. Uh, Shakespeare was a black man. Yeah, he's a Jake. He actually worked on the King James Bible. That's right. He was a Shakespeare was a scholar. You know, he helped shape the English language as it is today. Like when his works, his plays, he was teaching other people how to properly write in English. He said a lot of the standards for the way words are spelled. He was really? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, he was a master. He when, was, when did Shakespeare die? Uh, How many years ago? Hold up. He died shortly. He died in the 1600s. About, I forget the exact date. But I know the Bible came out in 1611. He died shortly thereafter. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, he, he, was, he was alive during the time of Elizabeth and James. He didn't live to be that old, though. He was only like, uh, like 50 years. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a fire, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. Oh, hold on, yeah. yeah Shakespeare is like 46 years old. Let me read this one. Let me read this one. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, I'll show you something. What does that wait? What does that mean? He was working on the Bible. If you go to if you go to Psalms, 46, he was creating the Bible. Or what? You, watch this. If I go to Psalms forty-six, if I go to Psalms forty-six. So he ignores my question. No, just watch. I'm gonna show you something. If I go to Psalms forty-six, it's Psalms forty-six. Okay. If I count all the way down to the forty-six word of Psalms forty-six, I get the word shake. All right. All right. Now if I count backwards 46, you get spear. Right there. Shake spear. It's right there in Psalm 46. Wait, you discovered that? So Shakespeare that. discovered it. He's the one who put it in there. Really? Yeah. So you're reading that into that. 
No, I'm not. I just showed it to so you. His, his name is in there somehow. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> right. I, just, I just showed it to you. Yeah, you made that stuff up. If you count for 46 letters. See, even he's laughing at it. All right. Bro. Everybody. <laughs> Your brother's laughing name. at you, man. Huh? I, huh? I actually found about that reading a, uh, the Oxford Bible. Uh, no, Oxford Dictionary or something. Well, why, why, why would he? Why would he plant that in there so difficult? To That's pursue? proof that he worked on it. Case someone try to say he got people trying to. He got people saying Shakespeare don't even exist now. Saying he never even lived. You know what I'm saying? So he was probably trying to protect him. So there was some evil shit going on. You know, trying to. Uh, people. You oh, yeah, got a lot of people around, talking shit about King James. People try to murder King James. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Esau don't want you to know Shakespeare. They don't want you to know that he was an Israelite. They don't, they want, they, like I said, the popular thing now is they say Shakespeare never lived. They're like, oh, he was just a combination of people. Or Shakespeare's, uh, he was just a writer, basically, right? Yeah, well, yeah, well, he was a scholar. Why would he he was more he than a writer, he was a scholar. Why would that be some sort of conspiracy that he, he lived, did not live? I mean, he was a scholar, he spoke Hebrew, you know what I'm saying? Really? He had to, to work on the Bible. I was sick now for 16 and one. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloth of sack and pear. Be well your children and be sorry. Oh, hold up. And yeah, they try to say Shakespeare is uh, Francis Bacon. They're like, oh, Shakespeare is actually Francis Bacon. Francis Bacon is like this big old faggot and double worker. You know what I'm saying? All right. That's how I come to remember the name. That's, that's what they try to say he was now. Trying to, take, trying to steal all of his credit. They, that's how they always do with Jake. That's why they don't, you don't never see hardly anyone make a movie about King James. They make a movie about everybody else but King James. You know, they don't want you to even say that name, King James. They don't, really? want you, they, don't, they don't want you nowhere near this King James Bible. That's why they keep making new Bibles. We got the, the Good News Bible and the, we got the, uh, the, the, the New in International Bible. What was wrong with the King James? Yeah, what was, yeah, what was wrong with the King James? And then when they come out with these new Bibles, when you read it, they take all the power out of the verses. So verses aren't as powerful as sounding as they sound in the King James. You know what I'm saying? When you read the scriptures, the scripture got power. You know, when you read a King, if I came out here and read a King James at the top of my lungs, uh, it's going to sound way more powerful if someone came out here and read an NIV Bible. Or, you know, one of these other faggot Bibles. What is NIV? It's a little faggot piece of shit Bible. Oh yeah, in the NIV, they also put a copyright on their Bible. So if you can't even use that Bible, like on a TV show, unless you pay copyright. Yeah, how you gonna copyright the Bible? So you know that's a devil word to put that together. Hell yeah. This is more proof. So Jim, you said you're in a hurricane, you're gonna be running around worrying about fucking women? That's all you're gonna be worried about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now when, uh, when the chaos breaks loose, yeah. if you see a... First of all, a woman can't take care of herself. So if there's chaos in the street, that woman's going to need protection to begin with. She's going to need a man. That's like the scripture says. She's going to be looking for a man for protection. Oh, look, look That's that. a hiding place. But you got some women who are stronger than elderly men, yeah, so you can't say all oh, women yeah, can't protect themselves. All, all, all women. Ain't a woman who's playing that can actually protect themselves. Just a man. So they're going to need it. So what, what if the man's elderly and weak? Well, I mean... I guess he ain't getting no pussy. Right. <laughs> no, that I mean, the woman is stronger than he. Well, this woman is stronger than... Well, that's not, that's not very likely. Huh? The most women are weak. They need protection. And that, what, like I said, when you get in a fight with your wife, the woman calls 911 every well, time. Well, days, them elderly people ain't going to last that long to be trying to protect anybody. Now, if the woman don't need protect, protection, how come these bitches always call 911? As soon as you even yell, you can just yell at a bitch. I'm calling 911. 911. Yeah, yeah. Wait, they got Wait, this is down. Isaiah 32 and 2. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. Because you're going to have other, uh, like, no good motherfuckers out here. They're going to be snatching up women too, and they're going to do sick, twisted shit to the woman. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But we ain't going to do, we ain't going to be like, wow. Uh, and women are not that uh, weak. Isaiah 4 chapter. Isaiah 4. Isaiah 4. Well, no, not in this right, society. Ahead, a lot of us oh, are manly uh, now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of them dykes. <laughs> 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 fuck you up. Well, 
That's what I'm going to find is a bad dice. That ain't got a lot of dick up there. Well, yeah, in them days, hey, she ain't going to be a dyke no more. She's going to be having some children. That's right. She's going to be pregnant. That's right. But I said the full chapter tells you that women, it's going to be a flock of women trying to look for one man. One strong man. Yep. One man can be able to take care of you. Yeah, I, I, I can trust you. I can. Especially if you a bad motherfucker too. If you like, yeah. so if you wrong like that, you just don't mind shedding blood. Yeah, you don't mind. That type of motherfucker. See, I'm old school. You know, I'm old school, man. I have, if I have to shed blood, I'm gonna shed some fucking blood. Just like you, you watch, some, watch some old western movies. You got all the pussy in them movies. Yeah. But a bad motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Let me get that they said, and the woman didn't complain about nothing back in them days. Uh, they did what they was told. Yeah, 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 Just yeah. with all this chaos and drunk off, these bitches ain't gonna have room for a complaint. Uh, but maybe a foolish one that you're gonna have the pleasure of beating to death. Some foolish bitch just might stand up and be like, nigga, you know who you're gonna do this. That's the one you're gonna beat the shit out of. You're gonna beat him to death. Two similar movies, they're the same type of yeah. movie. Same so it, type of movie. It just shows you in the future there is no law and order. When this shit breaks down, it's gonna break down. It's gonna be chaos out here. It's gonna be cannibalism. It's gonna be beautiful. You saw the Clash of the Titans? The uh, yeah. one from the 70s. The new one? You see, oh, one the one from the, the 70s was yeah. a better one. I like that one. I like the old one better. But isn't that based on fantasy, mythology? No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. I mean, it's big, big. Mythology is based on real life. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty man. That's mythology. It's not mythology. Yes, it is, man. This is where they got that from, off the Bible. Yeah, I'm like saying, it's like mythology. For the Kraken. Yeah, well, the Bible come before the ancient Greek myths anyway. You know what I'm saying? No, all right. The Kraken, that giant monster. Because the Greeks, the, right. the, the, ancient, the, ancient, the ancient Greeks were Israelites. So they came from Israel. They, they, they used to live over there in Israel. But they went over there and they invaded uh, Greece and they kicked all the, the original inhabitants up out of there. And they took that shit over. So that was, that was like the Spartans. You know, the Bible actually tells you the, the, the Spartans are Israelites. It you just tells four, you that. You got that Isaiah 4, bro? Yeah. Isaiah 4 and, and that's, 1. That's why, the, that's why the Greeks use the alphabet. Like, we use the alphabet. What is the alphabet? When you say the word alphabet, you're speaking Hebrew. The word alpha. Yeah, that means 1,000 in Hebrew, or the letter A, okay? Or you can say the word bet goes back to the Hebrew word for house. That's where you get the word Elizabeth. Like Wait, what bet. does alpha mean again? Alphabet. Alphabet, it means one, two. <laughs> a, a, B, or one, two, yeah. A, B, the A, B, C, the alphabet. The word alpha is Hebrew. That's very cool, man. The Hebrew alphabet, at the beginning, saying the fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's bad, man. The alpha, he's the Alpha and the Omega. And the Lord said he's the Alpha and the Omega. Uh, yeah. Boy, and the last character in the Hebrew is actually a Thor. Not an Omega. Same thing. So, yeah, every time you say alphabet, you're speaking Hebrew. Yep, that's right. What you got, bro? Isaiah. Uh, I was, I was maybe talking. Uh, he's been interrupting you. Oh, yeah, I always interrupt you. Well, when these scriptures come out, God doesn't have edification. It's necessary. You just can't read the scripture after scripture after scripture and have no edification. You've got to have edification. It's a must. It's a That's how you're going to learn. It's going to have edification. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Edify. Yeah. Edify. Like an edifice. It needs to build you up. That's right. Go ahead. Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. What's this thing? Here? Seven women shall take hold of one man. Now, every woman got a problem with that. Script. So, what you gonna be doing? Walking down the street alone still? <laughs> I 
Seriously, straight up. Huh? What you want me to walk around, around all these fine ass bitches alone? Still talking I'm about we gotta get along with everybody? Myself. I probably I just yeah, feel myself. I can't be grabbing. You gonna be snatching some bitches. Hey, he finally crazy. got some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be helping me. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell the description too. These women are desperate. But they said, they said oh, yeah. uh, saying we will eat our own bread and yeah. wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name. Called by thy name. That's why, still to this day, even if a man and woman actually get married, the woman takes on the man's last name. You know oh, you old do old. have faggot ass cases, though. Yeah, you do. Woo, no, that's no, amazing I, shit. That's why I say you can't really say no more. Right, right. right. Now, now most kids have got their mom's last name. Ain't now. that right? You know? They ain't got their dad. They don't know who the fuck their dad is. You mean, if they don't get married, the kid takes their mother's last name? No, even when they. In most cases, a lot of times, kids still take them to the father's last name. Yeah, yeah, a lot of times. Yeah. You know, but there are actual uh, uh, senators and congressmen and entertainers and athletes and shit. They marry a bitch, man. They take on her last name. That's some facts. That's some crazy shit, man. That is weird. I never yeah, heard that of that before. Yeah, yeah, you know, Actually, there's a case already on the you know, uh, Yahoo example. News last huh? week. You know of, of an example? Uh, uh, I can't remember offhand, but I can find it. I, I right. bet there are I some. Find, I, I can't bet it's a bunch. I was reading about it last week. This faggot ass word. You got to do some chopping dicks off and get a pussy. Yeah, I don't so see why you got to take the man's last name. That don't make sense. Why you got to take the man's last name? That's confusion. Yeah. Why you got to take the man's last name? Yeah, because yeah, you just, it's the man confusion. carry the seed. The child is the seed of you. Don't matter, don't matter what. No, it's yeah. the, the woman take your name because she is you. She's part of you. When you fuck with, have sex with a bitch or uh, with a woman, during her spirit become one spirit. So she's a part of it. That's in the Bible. Take, yeah, take an apple, see? Plant it. Really? So oh, yeah. an apple. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. So, but a tree can't survive without the ground, right? Right. Apparently, yeah. they put too much power in men, I guess, and not enough in women. Women got too much power. Huh? Women got more power than men. Yeah, women got more power than men. They get all the good jobs now. Because everything sit down. And they dumb as hell. They ain't got no skills. Women have no skills. They got no. They got. They don't. Bitch, don't even, can't tell you the difference between a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips. I saw the video myself. See that shit? <laughs> Bitches don't know basic shit. They have no business being in control. They have no business working. They should be. All kind of work they should do is little housework. Okay? A woman should have no business doing no. Uh, like. I used to be an electrician. They had a goddamn woman that worked. Was that a, she's a goddamn electrician. You used to be an electrician? She, yeah, this bitch was the, the woman was the slowest of everybody. She was terrible. She was, <laughs> she was she goes upon you. Taz tizzy pizzy. That bitch, uh, I mean, you got a bitch elect a woman electrician to come in and burn your house down. She don't know what she's doing. Don't give a damn if she knows anything. She she ain't gonna know anything. Like we was in there, look the internet service up at our crib, and check it out. Big fat ass pork chop, black bitch came to do it. That's uh, been white bitch, right? I remember that shit. I would, and, uh, I would have told her to go back and get some She was there for like six hours, and she had to call other help. I was listening, and she had to call help. And I was stuck again. Yeah, she's here for a minute, man. So a woman ain't got no kind of technical, she got, a woman got no technical skills. Like a woman can't build you a house. No, she can't. No, she cannot. A group of women build a house? I ain't never friend, seen that. Um, parents built their own house, a man and a lady. Huh? Yeah, she did. Yeah, she, did. Yeah, she assisted. Yeah, she was there. She was there. Was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that old cow. Man, I, I, I don't know any woman that can do anything in a house. Yeah, I don't know, can't fix shit. When, when something breaks, they just throw it away and buy a new one, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. You know how many damn sweepers I done found in the trash? Oh. Just because the belt broke on the sweeper? Really? It cost two dollars. myself. Two dollars to replace it. the belt. But these bitches, instead of buying it, they don't know. They don't know it's just a belt. They think the whole sweeper broke. Wait, what was the one you found? It just clogged up. Oh, it just clogged up. It just clogged up. So she throw it away and get a new one. That's it ain't perfect no more. That's it ran, it, 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 it burnt out. It's going to suck it in. I can imagine the bitches saying. Yeah, that's not work. Though. I got all kind of sweeps. All I had to do was go buy a two dollar belt. Fix that shit. <laughs> this bitch is dumb as hell. They got. You need that kind of sweep? Uh, yeah, actually, we did have an electric board for a minute. Do what? What? So, yeah, we actually Beastie did have boards. Yeah, so that shit. A couple years ago, I had a like car full of dudes dressed as nuns. Yeah, that's what the, the same motherfuckers we seen. I was telling you about, but the dudes and nuns dressed as nuns. Oh yeah, it is real fast. 
That's a weird area. Yeah, check this out, bro. This is Job 39 and 17. Because the Most High had deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. Yeah, so a woman ain't supposed to be just doing nothing too complicated. Supposed to do all the hard work for him. You know what does Oprah think about that? Who oh, Oprah? Oprah. Man, I'll punch, I'll punch that bitch huh? in the face. Oprah's a witch. Oh, yeah, you know Oprah's name? When you mix up the letters, when you mix up the letters in Oprah's name, it says Pharaoh. If you take, if you take, oh, <laughs> you mix up the letters in her name and it says Pharaoh. Oh, that's. What does that mean? Pharaoh is something about the Bible. Oh, what's the name of her TV channel? Oh, if you yeah. put she got the O O W N. When you go read it backwards, it says N W O, New World Order. Oprah's TV channel, O W N. Oh, yeah. when, when, when you read it backwards, it's N W O, New World Order. Is, she, is the New World Order is that negative? Well, that's that. That's that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's that Luciferian New Age that they're trying, right. to bring they're trying to bring in. Yeah. Right. And she thinks in her mind that she has a part in that. Yep. Yeah. Oh she yeah, because she thinks she's white. But even George Bush believed in New World Order. He's still you ain't hear about you ain't hear about Oprah in Switzerland a couple of days ago. She was up in Switzerland. She wanted to buy this forty thousand dollar handbag. All right. And, it, and it, the, the dude in Switzerland at his shop was like, "No, nah, that it, it costs too much for you." And they pretty much said, "Get out of my store because you're black." And she she was shocked. She was like, "Oh my god." They wouldn't even offer to let her buy it. Right, don't you know Switzerland is probably the most racist country on earth? I can see why. I mean, you know, that's where all the elite. You know, that's where all the elite uh, keep their money. The Swiss banks, right. all the super rich people, they keep all their uh, most uh, prized possessions up in the mountains in Switzerland. You know what I'm saying? So they, and they got a lot of secret hideouts in Switzerland. They do a lot of real secret, wicked shit up in Switzerland. That's, really? that's where they have a lot of these. They don't let black people in there. So that's one of the most racist places. It is. It's, 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 it's one of the capitals of the elite. It's one of their hideouts. Really? That's why, yeah, Switzerland's always neutral. They don't take anybody's side in any, in, in any war. You know, during World War II, Switzerland was neutral. Oh, yeah. It's set up that way. Yeah. It's set up that way. Yeah. But that's where all the money's at. They keep, you know, all the bankers keep all their money in Switzerland. You know any Swiss people in there? You know any Swiss entertainers in there? There's all a bunch of rich devils over there. That's all that's over there. They didn't know entertainment coming out of Switzerland. That's a fascinating place in the world. You know that lady who's in the birds, that movie with the, the birds in the 60s, she was Swiss. Oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't get a good one. That's why they were good. That's why Oprah's trying to go over there. Well, actually, she was over there for Tina Turner's wedding. But she married us a Swiss. Oh, man. she did, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. she likes all. Oh, she likes some old rich white guys. She likes old wrinkled up devil balls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's an old she slut, a, man. She had a Hell yeah. She had a what? She had a her wedding was a boots. Oh, really? look. See, that go back to see the one for nine one one. Tina Turner would still be with Ike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was about to kill her. He should have killed the bitch. He should have did what he told me. He was the goddamn star, not her. You know what I'm saying? He made that happen. That, was, that had nothing to do with her. She had a little skill. The one for Ike Turner, that bitch wouldn't be shit. You wouldn't even know her name. That's the truth. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the truth. She would never been discovered. That's why, that's why he's whooping her ass. Discovered. She was trying to backstab his ass. Yeah, she backstabbed his ass. Like the dirty, dirty bitch. The mama was like, bitch, you can be special. And she got that same kind of look that Oprah got. They both look like crazy witches. Yeah, they started yeah. to open that witch look. Yeah. Yeah, that witch look, yeah. They really look like old witch look. Just like a wicked old mother. Face lifted and everything. Like, man, they all white, yeah, that's too much. Yeah. She, actually, she actually looked younger than she did back in the day. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 All that damn witchcraft they be doing. You what happened to the bus? I seen her and in a color purple a couple days ago. She was looking like a senior citizen. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey in a color purple. Oprah never looked good. Oprah not. She in a color purple. <laughs> She's manufactured. Her eyes are two feet apart. 
She was bad in the color purple. Yeah, the color purple. Yeah, she was horrible in the color purple. But that was on purpose. It just made her look like, like how? Yeah. It's it's like, like, how did she even see her get now, though? How do you let a ugly? She got a brain. She got intelligence. That bitch ain't intelligent. I mean, the, how you gonna let a bitch that ugly get on TV? She ain't ugly. She just is not that bitch beautiful. Is ugly. She ain't ugly. She just ain't beautiful. She ain't, ain't nothing intelligent. That yeah, bitch would have. She so smart. She would have knew. She would have knew she won from Zimbabwe. She did the DNA test. Oh yeah, her dumb ass. He was. The bitch had to do that. Did the DNA test for her. I seen that. Blood test because she was trying to find out where he's from. Where she was from. She's like, my spirit is telling me I'm from Zimbabwe or Zulu. It's like, no, sister, your bloodline is coming through Europe. From like Ireland or something. Yep, yep, yep. That bitch is probably Irish or something. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. And yo, know, this guy black Irish. Oh yeah. They're fucking they were probably doing their uh, test for us or other they, side. I think they said the same thing so though. They, be on that shit. they got videos like that on Chris Rock too, I think. They was all thinking the neighbors. Just like I've this seen that boy Nas. A lot of dumb ass Nas. Come on, he got the Africa. He said the air smells better. <laughs> Why did you stay there? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Take take that Nas nah shit and go back to Africa with that shit. Right. And of keep course that it shit probably over smells there. better because there's shit, less cars. Africa stinks like shit. No, there's less cars, man. Less air pollution. Yeah. Probably, you're yeah, probably right about like that. Like if you bro. go to Detroit, it's I heard horrible. It. I, I just the Africans yeah. told terrible. me it just so yeah, much is funky there. Right? This place is funky. That's what I'm saying. That's why it stinks now. South Columbus. It stinks now. It's air, man. It's air stinks, man. That's why this place got a good one. It's just starting you're, to smell like You ever see Earth on Google? Who? Google Earth. You ever see the planet? It looks like a machine. Really? Sure Earth yeah. had a machine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You should yeah, take I it out. Yeah, it, 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 it is a machine. It looks like a half machine. I used to think that when I was... When I, was I was like, like that's fucked up. They fucked up the Earth. Man. Every time I was flying in a plane, I would look down and I'd see everything look like computer circuits and shit. Yeah, yeah, cars. yeah. That, it's like it's the Matrix. Machine. That's why, that's why they got that band Rage Against the Machine. Right. That's some shit. Yeah, that's some rebellious shit. Oh, you like your girl? Oh, that's machine? a bad group, man. Rage Against the Machine? I think they go together. I should get you in the spirit. Yeah, that's a bad group, man. I don't know if they, they probably, I don't know if they, they do. They're really a bunch of Uncle Tom and sell that shit. Yeah, they don't know. Yeah. They don't know. Yeah. But that Tom Morello, Uncle dude. Tom, but they're white. Yeah, Tom Morello. No, no, he ain't. They ain't Rage Against the Machine. Ain't nothing like white. He's a nigga. He's a black skin. There's a high yellow. Yeah. Yeah, the least singer's a, that's a brother, man. Right? Yeah. He's Zach, a high yellow. Zach Taylor Really? Yeah, he's high yellow. Yeah. His mom's white and dad's black. Wait a minute, black. Rage Against the Machine, is all, they're all black. They're all of them. Well, yeah. They all Jason. Well, yeah, they're all Jason. Yeah, you're right, they well, all of them. The time of Rello, he's like white. Like, yeah, his mom's white and dad's black. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. But Tom Morello, he's, a, he's on that American Patriot shit. He don't know. He's fighting for the founding fathers. No, they all confused, man. The page sound like his New England page. That's the smartest thing you said on there. <laughs> You're a great American. <laughs> right. Yeah, Tom Brady go harder than the United States. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Say what? He goes what? He said Tom Brady go harder than the United States. That's what she said. Yeah, but football is all fake. You know that, right? Nah. It says all. You know. You know. The NFL is just as real as the WWE. National Fake League. Yep, the National Fake League. And why did you watch WWE, by the way? Man, I started watching it just because I realized everything else was fake. So I might as well watch the, the real fake shit. You know what I mean? Oh, I can't stand WWE. That's my favorite sport. I can't stand the men acting like children up there. What's up, man? It's all stage. It's Mexican? You Mexican? Argentina? Oh, wow. You know you, uh... You know you're in the sun. 